Hello guys and girls and welcome to this FM underdog tutorial on making and uploading uh, kits to FM14. So many of you may have seen it last year um, but I'll just go through it again. These are some that I've made already, my AFC Hinkley ones. We're going to make a new away kit today because I've updated the home one. Need to do the away kit. So I have mine stored in here. You can download these um, from the internet if you just put in the uh, you know kit templates thing into Google. You can find them mostly. Unfortunately, I downloaded these last year, so um, it's been a while. Um, so I can't remember where I got them from, but they're pretty easy to find online. So the kit maker is Cabrini, but we're going to go with different designs and you can change um, the kit make on there so where's Jacko gone in fact I was typing in here they have some decent design kits as you can see that's the home kit that we had so if we had a little look through we want a, a black and red quite like that oh, that's pretty cool um, yeah number 27 so you always have to select the um, PSD file in Photoshop I'm sure you know just wait for it to load up might be a bit slow because I'm uploading a video I'm recording and using Photoshop all at once okay so it brings up the basic templates the first thing I want to do is because I want to make it black is scroll to the bottom go onto the base and shape double click on color overlay click on that there and select the black okay okay so that's selected so we can get rid of that and then you click in here so it brings up the view of that one there and then we need to go in and sort it all, sort all the colours out. It's a bit dark, so you can change the colours and unselect parts of the colours and stuff. You know, and um, as you go along, but the colour's fine. The logo, click on that when it's gone, because we want to change that to Cabrini. We need to change the colour of this. Um, it's on red what's it do if we go white see it's a very dulled very subtle color isn't it okay effects what effects have they got what happens if we oh dear <laughs> okay all right so that's that you can add all sorts on there, drop shadows and stuff. It's not as bright as I'd hoped it would be, to be fair. It's not standing out quite as much. But what's that one? That's just the outline. But that's not the end of the world. Quite, It's still quite nice. It's just not as bright as we'd have hoped. And I don't think as much really. I mean, that would make it valued you see that's dulling and lightening the colours but yeah that's the brightest red we're going to get I think it's not going to get much brighter than that but that's fine that's okay it works quite nicely so that's that's that selected so I can close that off now now what we want to do is we want to bring over first the Cabrini um, logo so you open up a new file and then I'm um, just typing Cabrini in here he says oh it's Carbrini not Cabrini I always get that wrong and then I'll just choose any of these we'll do number five because that one has got already a white one so I have to mess around with the colour so you just drag it down so it's in a small box and you've selected it there so we want number fives and we just want the logo so it's not that one 
ignore that one ignore that one it's that one so what I want to do then is drag that over to there and as you can see it's appeared here so we can close that get rid of that and we can move that and pop it on there so it's it's just on there let's let me just see if um, changing no none of that makes any difference either okay it's just it's very um, very dulled isn't it but never mind it's kind of cool in a in a strange way but um, perhaps if we try moving it up no I think it's just the material of the shirt just the way it is but that's pretty cool so next up we want to bring in the badge so mine is on my desktop I need a badge for this season there it is uh, edit free transform I'm just gonna smallen it down on here then you go there double click and it's sorted so oh, I've done that silly boy let me just there we are and then select it pull it over and there it is we see now that's ah because I've pulled it above the shirt let's try that oh hang on a minute we could be on to a winner here see because I'm putting it above the selected shirt it's actually shining more hey there we go that's better so what I did there was in case you didn't realize you see there's the shirt we've selected but because I've pulled these above it it pulls them out of the shirt more to make them more vibrant so now we can dull this down to a darker red something something like that I'm happy with that okay so then we select the badge edit and back to free transform and this is where you can play with your badge size see what you have to get it so that the arrow goes like that double click he says oh no sorry yeah or just unselect it no it won't let me do that either okay that's it there we are now it's not standing out very much so what I tend to do is right click on the layer and go to blending options and then um, outer glow and uh, if you double click on that it will show you the size of how much it so you can really you know go crazy and do that but I tend to drop it down to one or two just so there's a little white outline around the badge so that um, it shows up on the shirt stands out a little bit and that's in the middle that's fine for me I'm happy with that um, I might no the collar will be fine actually collar yeah it's because it's mesh you see so if we pull that up there nice bright white um, so I'm happy with that I'm pretty pleased with that actually what would it look like if we took it off no it looked a bit crap but yeah so anyway there you go and um, this is the main so we can pull the main up as well and um, you see well, that's a bit bright there so we'll drop that back down to there see so it's all about just playing around with it really and having a look and see see what you really like about it and what you don't like and uh, if you ever do stuff you don't like you just press step backwards to the point where you've undone what you don't want you know basically so there's no mistakes just happy accidents <laughs> so then um, I've got my Triumph logo PNG set up if you don't know how to PNG it's quite simple normally you can um, if you just type in like I did Triumph logo PNG and it, it gets them you get them in Google quite easily to be fair but um, if not I've also got GIMP downloaded GIMP is easier to um, delete the background I in my opinion than it is on, um, on Photoshop 
but uh, you know you, you can do it on Photoshop and there's plenty of tutorials knocking around showing people how to do it and they're all over YouTube so if you want to know how to do PNGs in Photoshop and GIMP just take a look at those but um, yeah it's pretty simple once you get used to what you're doing it's pretty simple and that I'm happy with that I'm happy with the placement there so that's our new away kit so make sure you don't save over this I've done it before and I had to download it again so we want to go save as and uh, what we'll do is we'll save it to the desktop for now PNG always save it as PNG and we'll just yeah we'll call it Jacko 1 to 40 PNG at the minute so there that's saved okay so we've saved that to the desktop so now we need to get it into the game so we'll close down Photoshop click no because you don't want to save over what you've got on your original one so here it is on the desktop now you need to put it into the game so you go to your documents folder go to sports interactive for all manager 14 and you need to really have downloaded a graphics uh, a kit pack already um, because you'll need a couple of things from it so my kit pack is I can't even remember where it is but this is my mis miscellaneous miscellaneous <laughs> kit what I've created myself in a graphics folder I've created myself where all my downloaded graphics are so um, double click on miss pics at uh, miss kits and what you need is you need to open this in notepad I'll show you this in notepad always open it in notepad and as you can see here I've got Bedworth United 2 to and then you need the team number that you're doing the kit for so you can find that by enabling team ID or if you're in the editor beforehand just jot down your team ID number so your ID number always goes there um, so it basically goes record from and as you can see move you over there and move you over there so Bedworth United 2 which is this one relates to the away kit as you can see there look it, that relates to that team number kit away so that will show up in their away kit that will show up in their home and the same with Hinkley so we've already got an AFC Hink 2 but I'm just going to close that down because I've already got the text in there I'm just going to rename this AFC Hink 2 I know it's all lowercase it has to be exactly the same it has to be exactly the same uh, in there in the config file is what it says here and the team number obviously needs to be right otherwise it won't work so it says there it's already got one of those in so we'll just click on move and replace and it's in there so that means then when you load up for one 2014 we are recording here aren't we yeah thank god for that I had a horrible feeling there we weren't but when you load up FM14 it should by all rights be in there get rid of that one over here, don't need that anymore right I'm just going to pause it till the game loads up ok so here we are in the game spoiler alert for those who haven't got this far <laughs> in the video series I'm doing so if you go to your team page and there it is in all its glory the uh, new away kit and the new home kit together they look beautiful if for some reason they don't show up here um, you go to your preferences ba -ba -da -ba -ba -da -ba. come on go to your preferences interface clear your cache uh, reload skin when confirming let me just pop that on there and then um, hit confirm or hit reload skin it will reload everything up and they should be in there ready for you to use 
So that's a little tutorial guys and gals on how to upload kits. It's very similar for the badge as well. Um, same process, just a different config file. Um, so hopefully that's been helpful. If you've got any questions, just ask feel free to ask i'll get back to you as soon as i can but with this new comment system it's not always easy for me to uh, drop your comments straight away so but i'll try and get back to you as soon as possible thanks very much for watching uh, drop a like if this was helpful likes are always very helpful for the channel's growth uh, and i really really do appreciate them it's nice to know that i've helped a few people out cheers guys and i will see you in the next tutorial